Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of the Baldur's Gate Trilogy featuring Baldur's Gate 3. When last we left our adventure, we got to witness Gortash being uh, knighted or whatever. <laughs> and basically became essentially an archduke of the city. Which is bad when you think about it. Um, aside from that, not too much else happened. But I did want to point something out. Um, that I did notice. I was kind of trying to confirm something in the game, and I'm gonna have to make sure people know this just in case. So, and it might specifically be for the person in the last, this bottom slot right here. But, if you're gonna do, if you're gonna, um, go to camp, well, not necessarily go to camp, but. Well, yeah, if you go to camp, like, while you're in this room, and I don't know if it's specifically around here or if it's anywhere in this room, and then you jump back out, for whatever reason, this person here gets ported over to an area where there are enemies to fight, which, you know, <laughs> is not good. <laughs> so, um, I did notice that earlier, so what I did to fix that was... I restart. I reloaded the game, went back to camp, kicked the person out of my party, and then I went out here into the passageway and basically returned to where the bridge is, just to be safe. And then when I felt I was far away enough, I went into camp, got him back, came back out, and the whole party was back to where it should be. So, thankfully, I don't think the enemies really get triggered at all. I, ho I just hope I didn't accidentally break any future sequ sequence. But in the meantime, yeah, that's kind of how that works. It's a little irritating. It's a bug that needs to be fixed, but nothing terrible. I at least found a workaround, so that's the good news. Uh, but yeah, for now, we're going to go ahead and move up here. Um, you will notice, though, that this is where we can we go to meet uh, Gortash, whether we want to help him or not. And then Floric is over here, too. Um, don't know if it would be a good idea to free her right now. I'm worried if anybody's going to come after me, but... I wouldn't mind at least seeing um, what she might have to say, if nothing else. She could probably help us get And also, in this room right here is a sigil sign, which we can use to port uh, places wherever we need to. But yeah, let's go ahead and... Um, okay. Let's see here. So, I'm seeing something that says Pastway. Two, two of them, in fact, so... Now, for all I know, they probably lead to the same place. Um, let's see if we can safely go down there. Oh. Uh-oh! Oh, it's a person. Okay. Let's see. Hey, <laughs> kind of sleepy. Um, unfortunately, there is... The door is locked. So, I'd have to be sneaky, and if I got caught, I'd be in trouble. So, tell you what. We're going to go ahead and ignore this for now. Hopefully, we might find a uh, better means of getting in. I'm sure it would be nice if I could just disguise myself as a fist, but don't know if that's going to happen. Okay, so for now, I think I'm going to go ahead and head into the city and see if we can at least find uh, sorcerer sentries. I have no idea where that is. Let me see something here. Yeah, it doesn't exactly say where it is, so... My hope is that at least it's at least halfway close to where I need to go. Okay, so we go out here, and here's some... Another drawbridge into the city. Oh, it's a harbor! Oh, look at the boats! Nice. Um... Oh... What was that one building called in the first game? I'll have to... Uh, okay. Yes. Venture forth. So something like that tells me I probably need to gather my party first. <laughs> anyway. There we go. Alright, we finally made it. Ooh! That was a bit of a load. I wonder if that's something uh, some updates can fix. But in the meantime, let's take a look around here. This is so cool looking. For the stout and sturdy. Wow. Anti-hag support crew. 
Oh my god. I gotta read all those. First, we'll take a look at the executioners. Floric, former advisor to Duke Ravenguard, has been found guilty of treacherous and seditious activity against the people of Baldur's Gate. She will be executed five days hence. Uh oh. <laughs> I wonder if that can actually change. Also, I just got a gazillion updates to my. Wow, holy cow! Okay, there's Gauntlet de Delava, whatever her name is. Oh, and these are the murder targets that we can go after. If we want to go to the uh, Temple of Ball. There's a bunch of them. Okay, this is where our friend uh, the Grand Duke is. Okay. Having him on our side would certainly be useful. And then here is Castor's Palace, so... We'll definitely want to take, um... I definitely want to take Asterion on that one. Okay. okay, so, with that said, let's go ahead and take a look at these letters. The anti-hack support. Attention, have you been hexed by a hag? Lost a loved one to a deal? You're not alone. Join other survivors of hag treachery at Baron's Coop. Alone, we're vulnerable, but together we can stand up against hags. That's not a very inspiring quote, but whatever. Maybe we'll find that uh, one lady and her husband. Interesting. Thanks for this. Yeah, I wonder if that woman's there. And her zombie of a husband. Uh, rat trouble. <laughs> Not rat trouble? Not for long. Hire stomping boars the rat catcher. <laughs> Troubles are over. Small rats, big rats, giant rats, rabbit rats, any kind of rats. What about pirates? That was terrible. Boars stomps them all. Reasonable rates, corpses, and rat pellets removed at no extra charge. Reference one, of course. This is great. For the stout and sturdy. Adventures wanted for perilous and profitable quests. Master Lorokin, the Arcanist Vathkatla, the recluse of Ramazid's Tower, seeks brave and enterprising, enterprising individuals to delve treacherous temple and restore storied artifact, the Night Song, for preservation of Baldur's Gate. Oh! Only stout of heart and keen of mind need apply. Fame, glory, and incredible fortune assured. Okay. Well, the night song is in our camp, so cool. That's uh, a little frightening, but okay. Okay. Let's see. Let's um, they tonight the elf song. Rooms available at the elf song tavern for parties large or small. Let's see innkeeper Alan Alith. All right, boy, howdy, we got some things to check out. So, gotta go ahead and do that. I think we'll go ahead and make the Elf Song Tavern our first stop. We, uh, what? Hmm. What is this? Excuse me. Something happened here. All these folks can just keep their shit together. Maybe nobody else will get hurt. Maybe. Uh, that's. Great, I'm gonna go over here and not talk to you anymore. <laughs> yeah, someone's... Is he just hurt? Yeah, he's just hurt. Oh god, here we go. Yeah, me neither. Same. I think I may have overdone it with the black and purple for oh, my entire life. <laughs> Your look serves you well, though. Oh god, close shopping already. They want the youth to think I'm not, you know, up with the times. Anyway, so yeah, I mean, come on, look at this. Oh, this feels so much more like a city than the first game did. And that's just because of all the people. I love it. Okay, so let's see. There's our murder target. I'm just so worried, though. I mean, surely not. Hopefully not all these targets are, like, innocent people. I mean, I wouldn't give two shits if this were an evil playthrough, but I want to, you know... I'm going to play with the kitchen.
Oh yeah, that's right. He used to do guild stuff or whatever. Hello! Oh wow, I gotta see this. Oh wow. <gasps> wow! I got level just for planning the place. Snazzy! Ears Una. Sounds like an info broker. Girl of Mindale, Doug Mindale. <clears throat> wow. Look at this place. It actually has a fairly similar layout to, uh. Oh my God. Um, let's see. There's the stuffed baby beholder. I don't know if the, it was in the original Baldur's Gate. I don't think anybody ever talked about it, but yeah. Because let's see. There's a the bar right there. And then there's the kitchen in the back. And there's the stairs up. Yeah. You did a nice job with this. I think the only real major difference is, how, is that the overall space has been kind of scrunched up a little bit, but that's all right. Okay. So, a couple of us got some levels. Hooray. I'm going to go ahead and take care of that right now. Oh, what the hell? Oh, wow. I got a shitload of spells. Okay, skills. Um, why did my skill proficiencies disappear? Uh, anyway. Okay. So let's see here. I'll go ahead and take stealth, and then I'll probably take persuasion. I wonder if I'm just getting extra proficiencies for some reason. Okay. So let's see here. Uh, I don't know if I suppose not. Uh, Bardic can reach most within. Got some new skills. And let's see. I got a new cantrip. Yeah, that's not good. Um, days and lights. Regular light. Hmm. Minor illusion. And, uh, yeah, let's do minor illusion. I'm kind of a stealthy one of the bunch here. And then I get a new spell, so I will take... Uh, greater restoration. Touch a creature and negate any charm, petrification, stun, or curse affecting it. Okay. Yeah, I might just take this one. I don't know what else to take. I mean, this one looks kind of cool, but... The only use I can think of that is to, you know, stay out of sight of any, you know, crimes I commit, and I'm not exactly doing that a lot. And we also have Magical Secrets, which lets me take any spell from any class I want. <laughs> Alright, um, we have... No, not that one. Banishing Smite Ranged. Plus 5d10 Force. Possibly banish your target to another plane of existence. Targets with 50 hit points or more can't be banished. I really hate spells like that. Okay, so... <laughs> we'll go ahead and take Contra Elemental and... Yeah, why the hell not? Actually, you know what? No. Actually, I am gonna take Banish and Smite. This is this looks kinda unique in any case. Um, it'll last two turns. My guess my question though is Is it possible for that banish to happen if the five D ten brings them to uh forty nine hit points or less? I'd like to think it would. In any case. Yeah, that's kind of something different. Why not? We'll do that way. Okay. Alright, who's next? Hello? Yo, wizard, Hagrid. Okay. Um, another cantrip. Because I'm Watham. Um. I'll take a acid splash. Why not? And we also get planar binding, telekinetic. Why do wizards get seeming? Um, let's see. I will take. Gosh dang it! I feel like the choices get a little weaker as we go up. Um. Let's do Dimension Door and mm. 
Yeah. Let's see. Celestial, Elemental, Fey, or Fiend. I don't know how many of those enemies I'm going to find and how likely I am to have them. So... Oh, I actually got a pair of gloves that can really let me do that, so I'm not going to worry about that right now. But I will go ahead and take planar binding, if nothing else. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to put cloud kill up instead. Okay, yeah, I think that'll work for now. <sighs> Alright, now... Now, if we find the uh, lady and talk to her, we should be able to get everybody else leveled up. Of course, the trick is that we got to find her first, so... Ding dong! Hello? Uh, this is just a... Seer, Waldo... Hey, there's Waldo! <laughs> Uh, Fan Kaisa? What do you do? And Harvard Willoughby. I might talk to these people later. But for now, I want Another to go. Spill. I think I used to like the smell of Let's go upstairs. Hold up, citizen. This is a crime scene. No admittance. Bella's finished her report. We can let them pass. Jimmy, freaking Christmas. I was a bit of a delay here. A place to receive clients and informants. I wonder if it's as I... Stelmain's parlor, huh? Remember Interesting. It. All right. Ding dong, let me in. I wonder if any of these rooms are available to rent. Um, hello? Well, can I got knock it in? Really? Oh, for crying I wonder out. if any of these rooms are available to rent. It's <sighs> freaking irritating. Uh oh. There she is. Oh, bollocks. I told those idiots not to let anyone through. You. Name, rank, and reason for interrupting an active crime scene. For your sake, the last one better be bloody good. They told me your fit report was finished. What, are you lying to me? Uh, Valeria sent me. To fetch her another bottle of mead, no doubt. Yes, I'm Devella, the unfortunate colleague. Unless you've got useful information, leave me to my work. Duke Stelmane's dead, and I've got to find who killed her. Tell her about the murder target list you found. God, that's it. Proof that I was right. I've been working on an assignment, see? A research project of sorts. I knew my conclusions were sound. But this... I never expected this. I'll tell you what I know. A century ago, there was a man. Saravok Anchev. He was a child of the god of murder, Baal. He ruled the Iron Throne. A dark tower hiding a darker secret. It was the front for a deadly arms dealing network. There, Saravok amassed an army and sought to become a god. Under his stewardship, the Baal Temple was revived. And with it, the Baal cult itself. Fortunately, the temple was destroyed. And to cleanse the city of Saravok's memory, the Iron Throne was torn from its foundations and cast into the Chionthar. For most, that was the end of it. But cults like that don't disappear overnight. That list you spoke of confirms I'm right. The Baal cult is back. And someone is out there, continuing Saravok's work. Does she, uh, change into other people's forms? Um... Let's see here. What makes you think it's not the man himself? I've not ruled out the possibility that it is Saravok himself. I mean, the brutality of the killings is. He did come back to life in the second game. Work. But there's something more here. 
Something hmm. new. There's a reference to these murders. A certain flair. It's as if they were done in worship. Hmm. The precision of the cuts. The depth, the execution. The best butchers in Faerun couldn't make a cut like that. Trust me, I've asked them. I tried to explain all this to my superiors, but they wouldn't have any of it. They told me to drop it. Told me the city doesn't need another conspiracy theorist and to get back to doing my job before they find someone else to do it for me. But you... You're not bound by such constraints. Oh, help me out here. Help the city out. I bet if you follow the trail of these murders, you will be able to unearth the truth of this resurgence. Um, what about those who are still alive? There are patriarchs on the murder target list. I'm oath bound to secure them first, so I'll be heading to the upper city next. While I'm there, the other potential victims will be at risk. Could you warn them? I'd be happy to, but I'm kind of worried if that won't let me get into the temple. Thank you. That's all I can ask, and more than I hoped. Once I'm done with the Patriarchs, I'll head to Basilisk Gate to have another go at convincing my superiors to put some resources into this matter. Meet me there if you've anything more to report. And good luck. Thank you. You're a sweetheart. I hope you work. Uh, bears fruit. In the meantime, let's take a look here. Uh, notes on Stelmine's murder. Okay. Uh, location. Private room upstairs. Cause of death is suspect blood loss. Observations were a ritualistic killing. The right hand is missing. Clean severance likely for poor death. Mark of the Absolute on the floor. Empty bottle recently drained of contents. Maybe poison? Uh, motive. Suspect ballless ritual, but won't tell Valeria that. No suspects. Okay. I'm gonna take the bloody signet ring. I was talking about something. Guess the killer didn't want jewelry. Could be a good, uh, clue, though. Map C bears a single marker. The location of one murder site where the slain was arranged. There's a word arranged in a grotesque tableau. Kind of hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Okay. Well. Um. Okay. All right. Save them if possible. Or you know, get rid of them if we have to. Who knows, there might be someone who's actually a you know, guy. Uh, what's up here? It, oh. Why, oh, hello, hello, hello! This is a pretty rooftop area. My goodness. Really added on to this thing in recent years. Okay, now, um, how the actual crap do I get down? Ah, here we go. Okay, no sooner am I down the stairs than do I realize a murder target is literally right here. Chef Rover. Rover. Sorry. Rover. He's not a dog, is he? Hello. Damn rats. Oh, you. I thought yes. I asked you to clean the rats out of this cellar yesterday already. Hop to it. Get in there. Are you serious? Oh my god. He's a reference to Reevor from the first. He literally said this line. Oh my god, that's hilarious. I'm an adventurer, not an exterminator. 
Uh, the rats are important. Your name is on the rest of murder targets. Seems high. No. I need them rats taken care of. Oh, for crying Here's out loud. I'll keep a lookout for murderers. You murder the rats. <sighs> I don't get paid enough for this shit. Alright. Um, I also have a kitty named Tambourine. That's the coolest pet name I've ever heard in my life. The sad thing about it, though, is that the cats don't seem to be doing squats. And you got two more cats than Revor had in Candlecane. Sweet! Alright. We might have to kill some rats first. God be. Oh my lord, are you serious? Jesus freaking Christ. Wow. Ah. <sighs> I don't know. I feel like people make these games just love the idea of seeing how many rats you can possibly get rid of. Okay. And, well, there's a whole shit ton more. Okay, well. Ready for another round? Why, well, yes, I'm pretty sure I am. Okay, um. Uh, it'd be kind of nice if you had some way of. Let's see. Oh, yeah, Repulsor. Here. That's a good one. Uh, okay. Aye, aye. Go up here and. Yep. Effort. Are you serious? Okay. Noise. Ha! <laughs> miserable. <laughs> that feels like a Castlevania reference. Okay. Um, and there's still an absolute truckload more. Oh my god, that's just hilarious. A freaking reference. Oh man, that was great. Okay, well, hopefully we don't bring the entire building down around our ears. Wait, we evaporated most of the blood and just damn near set our tiefling on fire, so that's just great. Concentrate. Uh, well, let's see here. Uh, Okay. Heading get up back. here. Oh, this pocket's over here. Uh, let's use frost. Oh, no. Let's, let's, um, look. Warning. Here it is. Eh, shit. That's okay. If I gotta go in a little closer, I gotta go a little closer. Okay. There we go. Nice. So, did that take care of the, uh, also, um, Parallax just leveled up a after a bunch of, uh, rats, so. Ooh, excuse me. The rats are dead. Alright, let's go speak to the chef. Alright, can I go back upstairs real quick? I thought I asked you to clean. It's like, I find it rather hilarious that he actually thinks I work for him. It's like, do you not know who your own employees are? Idiot. Paranak gained a level. She gained a level by killing rats. How freaking heroic. Uh, in all aspects. Oh, we get another one. Cool. Oh, yes, that's right. These uh, new ones. Let's see. Bear. Uh. Banzi. Uh. <laughs> throwing camp supply. No, no, thank you. Um. And. No. Well. I don't fucking know. You can see in the dark at 40 feet. You can make some perception checks. I mean, that's not bad for looking for traps. That's actually pretty good. Uh, okay. Dashing Grand Century. Hit points. Mm. Oh! I need weapons I could do that, so I'm not sure that... Okay. No, thank you. Uh, no. Let's do Eagle. Just because I need to find those blast traps more easily. Alright. She's gonna fly like an eagle. Alright. 
Oh, okay, Rovier. You whose dwarf and cousin fathered the crap out of me back in Candlekeep. You were seen stealing. What? Resolving what? this peacefully will require more caution oh, crap. than you displayed in getting caught. Oh, hell, what? Oh, my God. Here, drop the item. What is free to be reclaimed, and you are free to go. Dude, what did I, what did I, what did I click on? I must have clicked the Sturge Fricassee, I guess. Sturge Fricassee. Oh, you don't sound very happy about that. Hey, you. You kill the rats, yes? Yes. I heard commotion in the cellar. Good. Perfect. Here, you take this. And do not worry. Chef Revere's eyes will be kept most peeled for murderous knaves. Well, they missed an opportunity to use the other line that Ruggie 4 said, but it doesn't matter. I did get some money. I got a lot of money for killing those rats. Woo! Wow, that's way better than the... Uh, what was it? Five gold? Don't spend it all in one place. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That feels so like so long ago. I can't believe it. Here goes nothing. That's a nice touch, I'll be honest. That's pretty cool. Ah oh, man, Elf Song Tavern is just great. Okay, uh, so let's go ahead and check out the old hideout. Ding dong. On the other Excuse side, me. you'll find a passageway known only to those invited to do business. Oh God, what the hell, really? Okay, that's great, but this isn't gonna be like, um, Hufflepuff, is it? I don't know any, uh, crazy, you know, arm signals or whatever. Uh, here's a button. Right. Really? You you literally can't just step through the... Okay, let's be weird about it then. Jesus Christ. Okay, that's all right. Let's go in here. Guys, I'm pretty sure you can all fit through... Uh, even Pathfinder of Wrath of the Righteous didn't have this kind of weird moment. Okay. Downstairs we go. Psionic detectors been activated. There must be Geth hostiles nearby. Oh, what? Are you serious? Oh, no. They must have broken. Okay, well. All right. Stealth mode! Talk about. <laughs> yeah, stealth mode while the torches are on. That's a great idea. <coughs> Oh wow. What are they doing here? Get rid of them. Even the hunted return to their den. In the meantime, tear every brick out if you have to. If it doesn't come, we must find evidence of its whereabouts. Uh hey, Emperor dude, did you uh screw some people over in the past? Cause uh you know. That's a tri -harak. A tri must be like a lead hunter or something. And she also has over 100 hit points, so that should be fun. What's the R of Conquest? Uh, frightened enemies within 10 feet. Oh, she's a paladin. <laughs> Five psychic damage per turn? Jeez! Okay, then. Alrighty then. We are in some kind of trouble. Also, there's a portal. We have a Gate Master Rizel. Veteran Gis Marchish. <laughs> have so funny names. Okay. Well, there's only. Uh, okay, no, I lied. There's like five of them. Uh, Zero lack. Oh, Christ almighty. There's six of them. Okay. Well, this is going to go badly if I'm not careful. So. Base mode.
pues. Violence hasn't gone unnoticed. It's about to be returned in kind. Can't afford to stay idle. Some good news. My faith protects me. Of course, I can't reach him. Okay, idea. Go. Yep. All right. All right. I knew I kept those around for some reason. Still? Come on! Okay. Down here. Dun, dun, dun. What? Okay. Take your third box and put it on top. Alright. Yeah, this is not go the way I wanted it to go at all. How far can my arrow shoot? Not far enough. Or if I freaking can. Eat it. There we go. I got one person. That's better than nothing. Nice. Um. Fuck you. Okay. <laughs> Great. Grr, arg. Have turn. <laughs> okay. Well. Uh, no, of course can't. Okay. Um, all right.
Actually, hold on for a second. Move. Okay. Have to keep going. Um, I'm gonna pop another elemental up here. Ah, to keep things interesting. And then Gale. Here. Whoosh! Alright. Allow me to demonstrate. Uh, let's see here. Uh, no, we're not using that one. Um... Well, now you don't have cloud kill up. I guess this is fair or nothing. Whoosh! Uh, okay. Then I'm gonna go all the way back here distance. and get rid of that. Yeah! Ah, <laughs> nice. Good job. Okay, surely I could hit some- oh no wait, I can't. Um... Oh, forget it, just end the damn turn. Here. Heading there. Oh, closer. Then... Let's see here. Okay, end turn. Son of a bitch. I'd love it to be. No, you don't. Okay. Um. Well, that was terrible. They can teleport, though. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I really got to learn to spread my forces out more. Okay, so of course, I'm immobile. Frightened, so. Let's see here. How can I use this? Nope. I see. Well, surely I can reach her, right? Yeah. All right, I'm backing off. Okay. Um, uh, I see. Cloud kills concentration. Too many concentration spells in this game. Um. Uh, <laughs> let's see here. Let's try. And I just lost my stone skin. God fucking damn it. There really are too many concentration spells in this game. It's starting to get irritating. 
See what people don't like this. Okay, back off again. Oh, damn it. I'm so dumb. There we go. Three attacks in one turn. Nice. And I must have landed the first one because I didn't get a... Okay. Um. This is concentration, yeah. Lies before me. There we go. May the dice roll in my favor. Again. Nice! Wow! That was freaking awesome. Okay, so she can't move.
just gonna have to try it. I can't jump for some reason. You can't fork, though, so. Except you can't because for some reason. Probably the blindness or something. Ah, forget it. You're useless. Please, Mistra. This
tale for the ages. And there we go. You handled them well. I tried. Okay, and Shadowheart finally gains level of her own. Now search the room. There's a statue that conceals the way through. I'll move in into it. Yeah, 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 whatever. Um Light works for me. It's the only other one I can think of that's useful. Uh in the meantime we have level five. See, I think we got another level. I just want to uh insect plague and flame strike. Yeah, it works for me. Uh what else? Okay, that's except Okay. That taken care of. Go ahead and loot the bodies here. Uh, we have Boots of Psionic Movement. When it gets Yankee cast Fly, well, that's not really going to help me. But, that's alright. We can always sell that later. Along with all the other stuff. Ooh, Jasif. Yeah, I'll sell that for sure. Okay, um, Attention. let's see. Okay. All, right. All right. Get your boxes back. Not like they were very helpful in this battle, but not a big deal. Okay. Uh, reserve supplies, location. Uh, front use only do not distribute. Buried behind Counting House, path to Baldur's Gate near Upper City. Okay. Well, the Upper City's not in the game right now, so that yeah. might be... ...for something later. Now, um... Let's see here. Alright. Okay, so during my little loot fest, um, I noticed a note to all knights of the shield members. Please find with our latest intelligence in the city's lockdown. I'll try to smuggle across the upper city. Okay. Uh, investment opportunities. Ooh, that's our stock market. Okay. Uh, and then operations in Neverwinter, which is. I'm gonna read just because you know lore. Huh. Cool. Ah yes, never winter nights. I remember that game. Not very good, but whatever. <laughs> At least not the base campaign. Well the DLC, uh 
that they made afterwards is actually really good. And some of the Persistent Worlds are pretty good, too. An Archduke Leadership, Public Works, pamphlet by the Gortash, by the Gortash for Archduke Voluntary Command. As Archduke Lord Gortash's top priority will be public works to ensure the city's streets, sewers, stocks, most important thing is walls and gates are properly maintained. A policy can be more important. Yep, not even the ones that save people from, you know, death. Uh, I can only imagine. I wonder what other policies he came up with to get him on the throne. Be interesting to read more about that. Anyway, um. Okay. Oh, here's this over key. And that looks to be a plot related this? item. Or maybe not. I don't know. Uh, arms dealer Gortash. Nice fingers. Here follows a report on the inroads upstart smuggler Inver Gortash has been making on the arms trade in the Tiantar Valley through the inroads badly under understates the case. Annexation would be more apt. The former black market traders, the Knights of the Shield, and outside the city of the Zintrum have largely been supplanted by Gortash's operations. Illegal arms have never been a major component of the guild's business, but given his apparent ambitions, it would be unwise to assume that Gortash will stop there. He bears watching closely. Bursar Uktar. Eight and a half work. I don't know what it is. Uh, here's a heavy chest. Let's see. He's gold. I <laughs> never believe moral decay and his benefits. Okay. I'll read that later. And a remedial potion. Uh, silence. Falling individuals are a threat and need to be silenced. Okay. Run forth the putrid of the cowled wizards. Wow. The cowled wizards. Yeah, we are, we're nowhere near Athkala, dude. But whatever. And I forgot to loot you. Set to camp. Set to camp. Not take it. And oh, I gotta eat at some point. All right. Cool. Ouch. I probably should have gotten rid of that. Um. Let's see. Um. Okay. Doesn't look like we're done exploring yet, so I don't know how much there is. Oh, here. That might be worth a look. Okay. Well, she saw something, but. See, what, what did we find? I wish the game did a better job of showing me this. Don't be over there. Here, button. Cool. Oh my goodness. What to do? All right. My old home. Thank you for bringing me back. Look around. You'll find some of my things still intact. Perhaps even useful to you. Uh, we found a recipe for fiddlehead soup. I guess I'll pick it up. A recipe for fiddlehead soup. A favorite meal of mine. When I had need of meals like that. Uh, the dog collar's worth selling anyway. They are indeed. Uh, let's see. Oh, the books we have. Hypnotic pattern. I'll take that long. Exactly. Have to keep going. An empty brain jar. Okay then. That's not really worth anything, so I won't worry about it. Oh, hello, <laughs> sword of the emperor. That's curious. Ah, the can. Uh, let's see here. Let's take a look. 
Plus two sword. Uh, I don't want deep four damage against shape shifters or polymorphed creatures. Plus two bonus. Okay. It's not anything really amazing, but it can get us a pretty penny, if nothing else. So, sure, I'll take it. My, My first purchase as an adventurer. No use to me anymore. It's yours, if you want it. I don't want it, but it's worth selling. That one isn't. My old wardrobe. Oh, wow. Hello. We are what we appear to be. And so appearance. Ah, uh, cerebral citadel armor. Frightened immunity. You can't be frightened. Elephant protection. If the wearer is infested by a mind flayer tadpole, they gain plus one to intelligence, wisdom, and charisma saving throws. And yeah. Not. Let's see. Elephant Euphoria. Charm or frighten a creature to gain a 1d4 bonus of attack rolls and saving throws. Strength saving throws equals 1. Or plus 1. Hmm. I wonder if I have anything that can do that. Here. You can keep those. Um. Comes. I'm ready. That's curious. Let's see. Uh, <laughs> it's worth 3,200 gold. <laughs> uh, let's, let me take a look at our stats. Okay. Uh, yeah. You're gonna wear this. There we go. Nice. That is awesome. Alright. Yeah, we'll sell this, uh, half plate later. Um... Found something. Okay. Might as well take a look. That might be worth a look. Is the fork what we found? Butter fork? I don't know. Here's still main's portrait. There she is, in all her glory. Do Benin still me? Wow, it's beautiful. Hmm. I don't know. I'm looking at this and thinking this might be a thumbnail. We'll see. Um, let me take a look at this. Forty bucks? Hell yeah, I'll take it. Yoink! Thank you much. Okay. Succeeding on all these perception checks, and I have no idea what no I'm looking for. So, <laughs> all right. Um, and then let's take a look in these. This is probably a bedroom. What's that? What's what? What are you guys finding? Ah! So frustrating. Okay. Save the game one more time. And then we have a hat. Oh, it's the sewers. Hmm. This could be useful at some point. Um, I'm probably not going to explore these right now, but I think at some point I definitely will. Uh, but yeah, I think at this point, um, the episode's gone on long enough for sure, so we're going to go ahead and close things off here. We found a very handy-dandy hideout, and even had some fun fights, but our adventures in Baldur's Gate are only just beginning, and they will continue next time. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you then. Until then, take care of yourselves, and farewell.